What's going on? Rob Fish here with BikeManit.com. Guys and gals, join me as we learn about brand new from Shoei. That is the new X14 helmet. Welcome back and thanks always for joining me. Bringing it to you first, we are BikeBandit.com and that is the brand new X14 from Shoei. It is simply amazing. Let's go with a couple basics for you. First things first. You are going to be the absolute flagship from Shoei. Obviously you're going to see by the look of it, that is the X family. It is very, very track and race focused. Uh, a couple basics as well. Three different colorways in the solid. White, black, and then a matte black. And then it's going to come in three different graphics. Uh, of course, you will have the Mark Marquez replica, the Bradley Smith replica, and then a helmet graphic called the Assail, which will come in three different color ways. Size spectrum across all of the, uh, you know, the, the sizes, extra small through a 2XL. It is DOT. It is Snell certified. Amongst those sizes, extra small through 2XL, there are four shell sizes. So an extra small and a small is going to share a shell. Then medium will get its own, large will get its own, and then extra large and 2XL, uh, 2XL will get its own shell. In those six sizes, there are five different EPSs. This thing is absolutely awesome. The way that Shoei has done uh, their homework, the X12, which is the predecessor, has been around since 2009. We are now at the very beginning of 2016. They have had well over half a decade to improve over the Fantastic X12, and they've got three pending patents on this. It is simply awesome. We're going to put it on the, uh, the rotating uh, wheel here in a second. You'll get the full 360 view of it, but let's just go with the, the real meat and potatoes of it. The shell is going to carry over to be the exact same material. It is an AIM Plus uh, material. It is a six layer laminate. It is basically, think of it as fiberglass, some other organic fibers, and then a resin pushed through it. You still have internally a dual density, multi-layered EPS, and that is truly what an esteemed colleague of mine in the industry says, what saves your bacon. So you have the EPS, one is hard, one is soft, and that actually can slow at an extended rate, the impact being transferred through and to your head. Over the X12, this is leaps and bounds. Of course, you have the, basically, I'm going to call him the fastest guy on the planet, Mark Marquez. He has been your tester, as well as Bradley Smith and a bunch of other pros on track. Over the X12, it is lighter. It is just over 50 grams. I believe it's 51 grams lighter. Now you're saying 51 grams. Seriously, come on. Is that really monumental? It went from 1691 to 1640. That is a tenth of a pound. Doesn't sound like much. At 150 miles an hour, full blown, full aggressive, aggressive on the racetrack. And that's the mentality behind this. Smoothest aerodynamics, and there's a bunch of things that I'll show you, which are those pending patents. It is absolutely divine. So here's some numbers that I want you to, to ponder. You have basically three numbers when it comes to improvements that are truly statistical data. It is a 3% reduction in lift at speed when it, the helmet wants to actually climb up on your head, that has actually been lowered. It is a 10% reduction in drag, which is massive, and a 50% reduction in buffeting because they added the wake stabilizer system on the back. We're going to get into all of this. Let's talk about at a racetrack level. It is very obviously a committed riding position. You have the races at the premier level being won by absolute milliseconds, and if you can improve a little bit, improve rider comfort, rider concentration, that lets you take your physical and uh, excuse me, mental energy and put it into physical energy, focused more on actually checkered flags. So, if you look at, and I'm going to show you the front. There are six intake vents on here. They are all closable. You have separately done a uh, chin vent, a mouth vent, then of course you have your brow vent, and you have your chin chimney vent up on top. Now, check this. You have up on that chimney vent, you have fully closed, halfway open, and all the way open. On your brow, it is a simple open and close. Down on, on, the, on, the, uh, on the mouth vent, you have all the way closed, all the way open and one detent right there in the center. And this mouth vent, you're thinking, why would you in any way put a mouth vent and have a separate mouth vent? Because those, that mouth vent, that little tiny vent on the bottom is actually, they call it a mouth vent. And it's not going to truly come into you with velocity and force. Instead, it actually goes through the shell, through ports, 
and we're going to put a graphic right here so you can see it, the cheek pads actually have their own ventilation supply. It is awesome. It is awesome. Simply amazing. Coming back around, you're going to see the CWRF shield. And again, that shield is going to be anti-fog and anti-scratch and UV coated and all that good stuff. It carries that F at the end because it's a little bit more flat. It is a totally race prepped shield. It is ready for tear offs. It is pin lock Evo ready, comes in the box. As you come around, those are the QRE base plates. Those base plates are five way adjustable. The spring tension has actually been upped the ante on that. Thus, it is a very windproof and waterproof seal because it essentially sucks the shield back against the shell and a nice fit against that gasket. Another nice thing I'm just going to point out is if you have, let's say, the RF-1200, so, uh, and they run the same base plates, you can actually put on the photochromic shield, and that's the one that's going to go from um, tinted in the sun, and then within a moment, in a minute, it actually can clear up as you, let's say, go through a tunnel or at, you know, at night. So you don't need to change that shield. Absolutely awesome. You're going to notice these kind of, I'm going to call them buttons. I'm going to call them buttons, but they're calling the technical term is a vortex generator. And when that helmet is in that position, that actually smooths the airflow over the side of the helmet. Remember, we talked about actually that reduction in 10% of drag. That is a huge component into, into it. And that is, again, patent pending. We're going to come around. And before we even come around, you see all these angular edges that are built into the actual shell itself? That again, adds into that equation. And again, if you can reduce here and a little bit here and a little bit here, it adds up to a monumental, huge, huge difference. We're gonna come out to the back of the helmet and you're gonna notice that helmet is very long in the back. Very long in the back. But everything that you're also gonna see, all these vents, et cetera, this is, these are all components, are all frangible. So in a crash scenario, these are gone. And your helmet underneath stays nice and smooth, minimizing the risk of snag, et cetera. But coming around, We'll start at the top in the back. We talked about the six intake vents that are closable on the front. You have six exhausts on the back. These are open all the time. Underneath these gray pieces right here, exhaust vent, exhaust vent, you've got two in the center, and then underneath these wake stabilizers on the back, and underneath, that's another one. That's actually another two. So there's six vents always extracting the heat. You're gonna notice again, in that riding position, what are you gonna do? You're gonna create that vacuum, that negative pressure right here, sucking the air. Basically, yes, do these have a function? Yeah, their main function is actually to release the vacuum being created by this. Absolutely amazing. These two gray fins on the back, those wake stabilizers, that's another patent pending from Shoei. Those are totally replaceable. Uh, somebody like Mark Marquez said he could feel the difference instantly. Could I? <laughs> Not at all. Why? Because I'm old and I'm slow. But I think they run an extra 30 bucks, and you can actually get slightly smaller ones, so it depends on your personal morphology, the bike you're riding, the height of your windshield, protection from your fairings. Again, this is just the outside. Now, we're gonna jump onto the inside, because here is truly an amazing, amazing thing. One more thing, by the way. On that shield, of course, you have this little button up front. That is going to pop up, and that actually locks your shield down, but I need another handhold, so in we go. You're gonna notice here, you have the ability, comes in the package, comes in the box. You have a breath guard, you have a chin full curtain, and then you also have a chin mesh curtain underneath, but that, that full one on the bottom actually acts as another deflector, just moving air out around you. Uh, again, this thing is absolutely awesome, but here we go and we're gonna dive in. You have a double D-ring closure on the bottom, very traditional. This entire liner, of course, is uh, moisture wicking, so antimicrobial, anti-funk, anti-stink, everything that you would expect at a caliber uh, level like this. You're gonna see, again, I'm working backwards and upside down, so forgive me, these two red stripes, these are for emergency personnel. These cheek pads drop straight out vertically in case, obviously, medical personnel needs to help an injured rider. So I'm going to, Open this up here really quick, and we are going to show you another, imagine that, patent pending on this helmet. Seriously, so many new advancements to it. So easy, the cheek pads just pop right out, and 
There you go. This is going to actually, let me turn it around so I can actually see this. This is going to just drop right out. Boom. There you go. There's your cheek pad. You're going to notice different materials here. This is very, very soft. This is, I'm not going to say more coarse, but this is obviously where you're going to do the majority of your sweating is right up front here. This is more of a seal on the bottom. Very soft, very comfy, very nice. Put that right there. Inside here, you will see the ability, if you have a communication system, you can take out this little foam panel. And there, you'll see, is a little detent for speakers for your communication system. But this is where I really want to show you something that is absolutely, totally pioneer, so awesome. So, top liner comes out. You do have the ability. I think you run five different combinations of each component to make your perfect fit, right? But the team at Showy has done this. These panels are essentially all replaceable. So let's say you want your top or your side, your left side, to be a little higher up. What do you do is you move that and you can take this. I'm just going to take all four little pieces off and you can choose the thickness. You can put it exactly where you want. Absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. Now, they don't know who you are. They don't know how tall you are. They don't know what you ride, etc. You're riding configuration and position, right? So here you go. If you look at full-blown race helmets, the eye port itself is actually tilted up higher on the shell itself. Why? Because you live down in a little bubble to try to get underneath that windscreen, right? More aerodynamic. So what they've done is this. These little buttons, and I'm going to have the camera guy sneak in on this. This is just this little tiny little tab. This little tab pops out like that. And this little button, where it actually mounts into the shell, this can move. And again, forgive me, I'm working backwards and upside down. Let me hold it that way. This can move. I want it up here. I want it down here, wherever you want it. And then what do you do is you just take this little guy and you put him into his little spot. You drop this right in. And again, forgive me, I'm working backwards and upside down. You know, let me actually work right side up and put that into its happy spot. I'm going to put it right here is perfect for me. And then that just dropped right back into position. Absolutely awesome. Four degrees is what they're saying. You can actually change the rotation of the shell on your head and your position and your eye position looking through the front shield. Four degrees. And you can change the thickness. And then you can change, obviously, the top liner thickness because it's going to come, let's say this is a large helmet. It's going to come with a standard nine. You can actually drop it to seven. You can drop it to five if you need a little bit more room just on this top portion. Absolutely amazing. And of course, you can. Oh, hey, you know what I want? I want a thicker front piece. This is absolutely awesome. Why no one's done this? They've done it in the past where, hey, you have different cheek, cheek thicknesses and different up on the top. But to do this is absolutely amazing. I'm a man of many words, totally speechless. This is absolutely awesome. That, my friends, brand new from Showy. That is the brand new X14. So there you go from Showy. That is the brand new X14. I appreciate your time. I know it was kind of a lengthy video, but well deserving. Simply awesome. The fact that I think that they kept it at the same price point as the old X12, but it got stronger, lighter, obviously patents pending on it, but less lift, less drag, less buffeting. The fact that you can customize both the wake stabilizers in the back, you can actually run a photochromic shield. You can totally customize the interior. Simply amazing. Two thumbs up to the entire crew at Showy. And again, appreciate your time. See you at the track, bikebandit.com. If you know you want it, go ahead and add it to your shopping cart now. If your order's over 99 bucks, it'll ship for free. If you have any questions, never hesitate to click on the help button. That'll take you directly to our sales department and they'll be happy to assist you. You can also email us at service at bikebandit.com or just pick up the phone and give us a call at 888-339-3888. Once again, we're bikebandit.com and we love you. So you should like us on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram. Remember, subscribe to our YouTube channel and bookmark us in your favorites. Thank you for your business and enjoy the ride.